What is up YouTube? Today I'm coming back at you with another DVD and Blu-ray pickups video. Now, um, this is going to be the second pickups video of this month. Um, for those of you who uh, aren't subscribed to my channel, I made one a little bit about a couple of weeks ago. And uh, that was for my, my birthday from uh, all my gifts that I got from my fiance. Uh, she got me a bunch of Blu-rays and uh, they're all pretty good. I've watched quite a few of them now and um, so far I've enjoyed all of them. So. Uh, but this is pretty much everything else that I got for the month of June. Um, and since it was my birthday month, I got some money from my parents and uh, I got some other stuff. So um, it all kind of uh, made this into the largest um, haul that I have ever done for DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, I got a bunch of different stuff, a bunch of different variety. I've got some imports. I've got multiple pretty much every uh, every type of genre uh, I've got some TV shows I've got some anime I've got some boutique labels and uh, I've just got qu I've just got a little bit of everything and uh, it's quite a it's gonna be quite a long video I'm gonna tell you that straight up front um, but uh, I think you, there should be some pretty high quality stuff in here um, it should be a little bit for everyone but uh, yeah uh, before I start this video, I also want to just uh, ask uh, you guys, the people that are subscribed and watch my videos, if you would like to see um, movie reviews on this channel, because I'm trying to figure out um, content to put in between my, my normal pickups videos, and uh, my last uh, attempt didn't really seem to uh, garner a bunch of interest, so um, before just making another video, I just thought I'd ask, would you guys be interested in seeing movie reviews? Um, and these wouldn't be like necessarily movie reviews from the theater, although I do go to the theater quite a lot, so there could be. Uh, this would be more of, I, I would try to focus my movie reviews on more lesser known titles, things that people don't tend to talk about, so I wouldn't be reviewing anything like Child's Play or Scream or anything like that because those are, just, those are so well known. I'd probably be focusing it more on uh, lesser talked about titles, like maybe Dragonheart or something like that. Um, although I'm, I would be open to doing the larger reviews as well, but I just thought it would be something uh, to give you guys to think about. Let me know in the comment box below what you guys think about that, and let's get straight on in to the actual pickups themselves. So we're going to start off with DVD since I have quite a lot of DVD. So I bought a bunch of different stuff, so um, I basically what I did is I stretched my money quite a lot and, by buying DVD editions of movies that um, I wanted. So and a DVD editions of other various things, but um, so there's going to be quite a lot of DVD stuff, but I do have quite a lot of Blu-rays too, so um, let's get into this first thing. So this first thing is actually four different things, but they're all, I'm going to group them all together because they all kind of go together, and uh, this is a TV thing, and this is something that I just, you know, um, this was my favorite cartoon growing up, and I never really owned a lot of it, and um, I, I don't really know why I never bought any. But uh, I just I decided I'm going to pick up a few seasons. I'm not going to pick up the whole thing because there's a bunch of different sets. Um, but uh, I picked up the first season of The Simpsons. Um, I loved The Simpsons growing up. It was literally my favorite cartoon. I I absolutely loved it. I watched it pretty much every almost every day growing up, and I probably stopped watching it maybe right around when I got into high right before I got into high school is probably when I stopped watching it not just not because I didn't like the show just you know how high school is a lot of studying very busy but um yeah so I watched a lot of Simpsons growing up and uh so I decided I'm going to start picking up a couple of the seasons I'm not going to pick up all of them because there's like 20 something seasons on DVD or something uh I think I'm going to go up to like season seven or eight. I heard season eight's probably a good place to start, but uh, so I got the first season. And then I also have, uh, that's not the right order. Second season. The third season. And the fourth season. So I've got the first four seasons of The Simpsons. Um, I've seen all of season one, and I watched all of that, and I'm currently working through season two, 
and uh, I am really really happy I picked him up. The first couple seasons aren't nearly as zany as I remember, but uh, I'm assuming it kind of finds its footing and gets more into the you know classic Simpsons humor later on. But um, there's been quite a few humorous moments, and I, I am glad I'm picking picking up some of those. So let's move on to the next thing. So the uh, next movie I picked up, uh, uh, I picked up from the Walmart bargain bin. Um, I think I paid maybe like 20 bucks for all those seasons of Simpsons. Um, I'm also picking up the seasons of The Simpsons now because uh, I'm pretty sure that you can't get them brand new anymore. Like I looked on Amazon and I couldn't find them so I got those all from eBay. Um, so this, this next one I got is one that I've been wanting to buy, just never really got around to it, and that is... Uh, National Treasure. I got this from the Walmart bargain bin for five dollars. Um, I've been wanting to get National Treasure for a while. I really enjoy the movies. I'm not like create. It's I find it like a more family friendly Da Vinci Code, and so I just think it's a, a really fun adventure movie to have. And uh, Nicolas Cage, you know, you gotta gotta love Nicolas Cage. And um, it's just a it's just a classic, you know, adventure movie. And you don't really get a whole lot of classic style adventure movies anymore. Like you have some, you have some older ones, but like newer adventure movie stuff, you don't really have that much of. I know the new uh, uh, Uncharted movies coming up, so that'll be nice. But other than that, we really just have like Indiana Jones. But yeah, I mean, older stuff, you have like Romancing the Stone and all those types of movies. Um, but yeah, so National Treasure, really, uh, really happy to have that for five bucks. It's got uh, some special features on here as well. It's got an alternate ending. Uh, it's got uh, National Treasure on Location Making of featurette, the Knights Templar featurette, Treasure Hunters featurette, uh, Riley Decode This featurette, plus three puzzling challenges, and an opening scene animatic with the optional director's audio commentary. So, some cool special features on there, not just a bare bones disc, but for five bucks, you know, not bad. And to go along with that, I also picked up National Treasure 2. This was also in the $5 bargain bin at Walmart. And these are both movies that I've been looking to pick up for a while, so um, same reason for picking this one up. And there are some bonus features on this, not nearly as many, unfortunately. Um, this came out sort of towards the end of uh, packing DVDs full of stuff, but um, you also have an uh, audio commentary on here with the director and uh, one of the actors, so pretty cool. Happy to own both of those. So yeah, I got quite a number of things from the Walmart bargain bin because I was stretching out my birthday money. And this next one is something I was actually looking at picking up uh, on Blu-ray online, and it was like 20 bucks on Blu-ray online, but then I found this in the Walmart bargain bin for $5, and I was like, I mean, I like the movies, but I think I'd be okay with having them on DVD. So I got the DVD version because it came with both of them, and that is the Ace Ventura collection. So I got both Pet Detective and When Nature Calls, and they are both the, um, it's the standard DVD editions, both on an individual disc. They're just in a single package. So I like when they do that. I'm not a huge fan of when they pack multiple movies onto one DVD, because I, I, I've noticed that you get zero special features and you also don't get the greatest audio quality on there, but uh, individual discs on this one. And uh, you do get some special features because of that. So you also get um, commentary by the director, a theatrical trailer, and then uh, when Nature Calls only includes the theatrical trailer, so not a whole lot of special features, but you get some. And uh, these are some great um, comedy movies with uh, Jim Carrey. Probably one of my favorite Jim Carrey movies. Uh, that this and Liar Liar are pretty pretty high up there on my list of favorite Jim Carrey movies. And um, just super happy to own these. And uh, yeah, can't wait to watch those again. I haven't seen those in quite a long time. But I always love to get uh, double packs and multi-packs inside the Walmart bargain bin because you, you know, I mean, pay, only paying five bucks and so I got two movies for two fifty so each, so it is really nice. All right, this next one is uh, a movie that I picked up to basically start filling out my, uh, my, my collection in this series and it is a little squished, but um, you know how these cases are. It's one of those uh, eco-friendly cases I'm not a huge fan of, but um, that is the Godzilla King of the Monsters. And uh, I have not watched this. Um, I haven't seen the new uh, Kong vs. Godzilla either. But I do own Kong and the original reboot of Godzilla. 
Um, and so I figured um, I might as well check this out as well because I know this is the next one in the series that I haven't seen. And um, I'm not like the biggest Godzilla fan, but I do enjoy the Godzilla movies. I really, really liked the, the Kong movie a lot. Um, the Godzilla movie was okay. Um, so I've heard this one's like amazing, especially if you're a fan of the older ones. I'm not, I don't really watch the older Godzilla stuff. I, I think the only other Godzilla besides these reboots that I've seen is the 98 Godzilla. And um, that's not really Godzilla from what I've heard, but I still love that movie. Um, but yeah, this does have a special feature. It's called Monster Tech Monarch Joins the Fight. So um, yeah, this is another one of the you know big giant monster movies, and um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the special effects in these Godzilla movies, I will say, are just fantastic. Um, I know that um, I, I don't remember if it was in the original Godzilla reboot or if it was in the trailer that I saw for that movie, but. Um, whenever he Godzilla uses his like beam, his like breath beam thing, oh my god, it looks so good. So I'm super happy to have that. I'm gonna check that out sometime. All right, this next thing I picked up is uh, an anime, and uh, this is this has got um, some. I'm gonna have to talk a little bit about this because those of you who are into anime are gonna know right away that this is a bootleg. But uh, I got the uh, Magical Girl Sight, um, and this is one of the um, Malaysian bootleg DVDs that you can find. Um, and the reason why I got the bootleg is there's no North American release. And um, I don't feel bad buying bootlegs if you're not going to release it in the United States. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any English release anywhere. Um, the only way to get a physical English copy is bootlegs from Malaysia. So, because this, uh, for those of you who don't know, all Malaysian bootlegs, pretty much all of them have English subtitles. So, um, they vary in quality, but I popped this one in. It's pretty good, um, pretty good uh, subtitling. So uh, yeah, I watched this whole series, and I was actually ple pleasantly surprised. I heard nothing but bad things about this show. Like it was, it only has like two star rating. But I don't really listen to ratings. I watch for myself, and I was pleasantly surprised. And um, I don't know why it has such a bad rating. I honestly can't tell you. The only criticism I've ever heard of this anime is it's too edgy. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess if you've only seen the first episode of the anime, it might seem too edgy because the first episode's like an edge fest. But the whole show is about overcoming your depression, uh, get, getting like coming together and making friends, and how your friends make you stronger, and how working together makes you stronger. So I mean, it is a darker story, and it has its edgy moments, but it's not all about the edge. So I don't know why it is so hated. Uh, I'm just happy to own a copy of it in some way. And uh, for those of you who've never seen a Malaysian bootleg, they do small press runs, because these aren't actually burned discs like a lot of people assume for bootlegs. These are pressed discs. I don't know how they press them, but they're not pressed very well, because if you look on the edge here, let's see if you can't see it. Will it focus? All right, if you look at the edge of the, the DVD, it's got some manufacturing errors. Um, plays okay, um, so I'm not too worried about it, but these these bootleg, Malaysian bootlegs won't last as long as a official studio release. Um, but hopefully they'll last long enough because I enjoyed watching that. All right, the last, no, not the last thing I have in DVD. I still have quite a couple other things, my bad. Moving on to the next thing. So this next one is another one that I picked up in the Walmart bargain bin, and uh, this is something that I've been really, really interested in, in, in owning. Uh, I never really got around to it because I'm not like the biggest fan. I only saw the first one in this series because this is a multi-pack, and that is uh, the Blade Trilogy. So uh, if you're a fan of my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of vampire movies and vampire media. I love vampire movies of all kinds. It doesn't matter how good or bad it is, I just love vampire movies. And um, any take on vampires, I always I want to check them out. So obviously I had to get Blade, uh, super famous vampire movie, and obviously I've seen the first Blade movie. I never watched Blade 2 or Blade Trinity. I heard Blade 2 is the better of the sequels, and I heard Blade Trinity is actually pretty awful. But um, yeah, I haven't watched either of those ones, but I did watch the original Blade like way back when it came out. And um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good vampire movie. It's not like your, uh, it's more of an action-oriented vampire movie, sort of similar to like how Underworld 
as an action-oriented vampire movie, but this is a lot less dark than Underworld. I would say this is more of like a, um, I don't know, it, it's, it's just, it, it's sort of like the same level of darkness as the 1989 Batman. But um, that's about as dark as it gets. Not as cheesy as that, but about the same level of darkness, like a light Tim Burton movie. Um, but uh, it, it's it's pretty good. I do enjoy the first Blade movie. Uh, it is a multi-pack, but unfortunately, it is uh, two movies on the first disc, and then Blade Trinity has its own disc. Plus, Blade Trinity also came with a bonus disc with of special features. So kind of weird how they packaged this one, but it is what it is. Um, so at least I got some special features. This is a brand new print uh, pressing of these movies. This is a 2021 pressing, straight from Warner Brothers, so that's interesting. But yeah, happy to have the Blade movies. Um, I'm definitely going to have to check out those sequels. Alright, the next thing I got in DVD, uh, these last two DVD things that I have are TV shows. Um, so the first thing that I picked up is in rough shape, unfortunately. But, you know, I didn't pay a lot for it, so I'm not too um, torn up about it. But I picked up the complete That 70s Show series, and um, it's That 70s Show. It's one of the, it's one of my favorite sitcoms. Um, it's a classic sitcom about kids growing up in the 70s, and just, um, it's just, you know, it's a fun, you know, sitcom from, like, the early thousands, and I just, you know, had to get it. It's something I watched on whenever I saw it on. I didn't really, like, religiously watch this show, but I did enjoy watching it, and I watched it on occasion. Um, but... Uh, yeah, this concludes all eight seasons, 200 episodes. I only paid 20 bucks for this, so it is a beat up, but um, I'm not too worried about it. Um, so it was only 20 bucks, and for eight seasons for 20 bucks, that's insanely good steal. And they're not even bare bones. It has a bunch of special features as well. It's got some audio commentaries on selected episodes, some behind the scenes web episodes, some flashback featurettes with the cast members. Tons of additional featurettes, including series retrospective and that 70s show trivia. So you've got a bunch of good stuff in there. And the last thing I picked up on DVD is another TV set from Mill Creek as well. This one is not damaged, though, thank, thank God, because I actually really like this show. It's another early thousands TV show, and that is uh, King of Queens, the complete series. Um, uh, I always really liked this show. I know it is not one of the most loved sitcoms out there. I just, I've always really liked this show. I like Kevin James. He's, I think he's an underrated comedian. Um, this show is actually, it's funny because I popped this show in and I was just watching random episodes and I just forgot how, like, how funny this show is. And it's, it's it just, it made me chuckle out loud quite a few times. So I'm happy I picked up the whole series. Um, I, like I said, I watched the show quite a lot. Um, I didn't religiously watch it, like every episode, but I would watch it whenever I saw it on, and I always enjoyed it. So I decided to pick up the complete series since, you know, uh, physical media from everything that I've been seeing lately is, it's on the downward trend. So I gotta pick them up while I can. So I decided to pick up both of those. All right, now we're gonna move on to Blu-rays. And uh, I got some really cool Blu-ray stuff, so. Let's just get right into it. So let's get the big one out of the way first. And uh, actually, you know what? Before we get into the Blu-rays, uh, this is going to be zero time for you, but I'm going to make a quick cut in the edit um, because I'm already at 18 minutes. So I'm going to cut the video here, splice it together, and uh, we'll get right into the Blu-rays. All right, so let's get into the Blu-ray pickups. All right, so the first and the biggest thing I got on Blu-ray was the gift for my parents. So this is what my parents got me for my birthday in addition to some money. And um, I'm super happy to own this. I've wanted to get this for a while now. I just didn't really get it because of the price, and I just never really got around to ordering it. But I am so happy to own it. It is one of the greatest TV shows of all time, and I picked up the Game of Thrones Complete Series box set. So this is all eight seasons on Blu-ray, plus an exclusive um, bonus Blu-ray disc. Well, actually, set of bonus Blu-ray discs that are exclusive to the to the complete series collection sets. You get the same Blu-ray uh, bonus set in the 4K version also, um, but um, it comes in a black case with that. But if you get the normal Blu-ray, it's still the same exact discs. They just come in a blue blue case. So you get three whole Blu-rays of just bonus features and 
I'll read the bonus features for this bonus uh, set. And each of the individual seasons have a bunch of bonus features as well. So, so many extra features on, on this set. But the bonus, the bonus discs are uh, Game of Thrones Reunion Special Part 1 and 2, The Anatomy of a Scene for Seasons 4, 5, 6, and 7, then you have uh, Behind the Scenes on Season 1, 2, 4, and 5, and then you have Inside the Visual Effects for Seasons 1 through 7, and then you have some Season 7 Deleted Scenes, and then you have uh, on Disc 3 something called Conquest and Rebellion, which it doesn't say what that is, and I'm frankly not sure what it is. Um, Conquest and Rebellion is an animated history of the Seven Kingdoms, so that's really cool. And then you have all of the normal bonus features on the standard edition sets that you would buy. So, for instance, here's Season 2, and on Season 2 you have War of the Five Kings, uh, In-Episode Guide, History and Lore, Hidden Dragon Eggs, and then you also have Creating the Battle of Blackwater Bay, the Religions of Westeros, Game of Thrones, The Inner Circle, and then you have audio commentary um, for with 12 of the cast. So there's a lot of special features in this set, and I'm super happy to own all of these. I, I This is a show I watched religiously. I watched every season as they came out, and um, my feelings are it's not my favorite show of all time. Uh, it was a, a fantastic experience. I'm not one of the people that absolutely hate on this show because of the last season, but I will say the last season was a disappointment to me. It's not how I would have ended it, it's not how I wanted it to end. However, people that say it's the worst ending to anything ever are... They need to watch some bad movies or bad... They haven't seen as much bad TV and movies that I have because even... It's still some of the best TV, even season 8. It, it's still some of the best TV out there and... It's not the ending I wanted, but it's still high quality stuff, and um, it's still a great TV show. If it had a better ending, though, it would have been my favorite TV show of all time. I will say that. But my favorite TV, of, my favorite TV show of all time, still will remain Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So let's get into the rest of the Blu-rays. Now that I've talked about Game of Thrones for an extended amount of time. All right. So this first thing I picked up um, was. Something that I uh, wanted to pick up just for one movie, it's a triple pack of Blu-rays, and something I only picked up for one movie, but I'll explain a little bit. So I picked up the triple feature of Red Planet, 2010, The Year We Made Contact, and The Movie Contact. So it's a Warner Brothers sci-fi triple feature. Um, they all come on individual Blu-rays, so it's all the standard edition Blu-rays. But I picked this up for Contact. I really, really like Contact. It's one of my favorite sci-fi movies. It's a really good... It's not like a flashy sci-fi movie. It's a really good um, thought-provoking sci-fi movie, and I really, really enjoy it. And I wanted to get that movie on Blu-ray. And when I was looking on Amazon, I noticed that the standard Blu-ray edition was like $15, and then like right underneath it was this triple pack, and this was like $14. I was like, pay a dollar less and get two more movies. All right, I mean, I've never seen either of these two movies, but hey, two free sci-fi movies on Blu-ray, come on. That's not something I'm gonna pass up. So um, I, I, I'm interested to check out Red Planet. It looks like it's a, a Mars movie, and it has Val Kilmer in it, which I'm, I, I haven't seen Val Kilmer in a lot. I mean, I've seen him in Top Gun, and Batman Forever, and maybe a couple other things here and there. But I, I really want to check out more stuff with Val Kilmer, so I'm interested to check that one out. In 2010, their year made contact I've heard about, but I've never actually seen. It's supposed to be a, uh, a straight-up sequel to 2001 A Space Odyssey, and it, from what my research tells me is it had the blessing of Alfred Hitch... Not Alfred Hitch... Is it Alfred Hitch? No. Stanley Kubrick. I'm sorry, it's early in the morning. Stanley Kubrick... had the blessing of Stanley Kubrick, and um, he had no involvement in it, but it had his blessing, so it could be good. I have no idea. I'm honestly unsure how they how they made a sequel to it because if you've seen 2001: A Space Odyssey, it's not exactly a sequel-inducing movie. So interesting, but I will uh, I'll have to check that out for sure. All right, the next thing I got on Blu-ray. Oh, I think I yeah I paid like fourteen dollars for that triple feature. The next thing I got on Blu-ray is. 
something that I've wanted to get <laughs> since I watched it on HBO Max, and I picked up Zack Snyder's Justice League on Blu-ray. So, this is an import, and uh, if you're a fan of physical media, and you're a fan of superhero movies, and you, you follow them as closely as I do, you'll know the, the, the roller coaster ride of this. So, this um, came out on HBO Max, and I watched it on HBO Max, and I'm like, okay, that's, it was really good, I can't wait to get it on physical media. And I, had, I follow Blu-ray.com uh, for physical releases, and they had all these listings for every single region on, on there. And then one by one, all of the North American and uh, America continent continental releases all started disappearing with no release date. And I was like, uh-oh. And couple that with how some of the other studios are scaling back their physical media releases, like Disney, how they're not releasing Simpsons anymore, and they just announced that they're never going to release a physical copy for The Mandalorian, WandaVision, or Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I was worried, and I was like, all right, well, it came out in the UK a couple weeks after, it came out in the UK like a month after it came out on, um, on HBO Max. So I, I literally, as soon as this was available, I, I imported this from the UK. It took like th through two or three weeks to get here. I ended up paying, I want to say $34. And uh, I'm so happy I got this because they just recently announced when this is coming out in the United States. Speculatively, speculatively as of now, is coming out in September. And the only release I've seen for it so far is the trilogy, including Man of Steel and Batman v Superman, which I already have those other two movies, so I don't need them. I have no idea what's going to be on the North American release of this on Blu-ray, but I, I already own it now, so if it comes out in North America and it's got no extra special features, then I'm probably not going to get the North American version because I'll just use this one. But this does have a special feature on here called Road to Justice, Road to Justice League, with, uh, it's basically a reflection on the movie with Zack Snyder, with some behind-the-scenes footage. And I already watched it, and it was, it was really good. If it has anything extra more than that, I'll probably pick up the North American copy. But as of right now, I have no interest in the North American copy anymore. They should have released at the same time, and it would have just been easier. I should also mention that this triple feature, they all have special features on there. They just don't list them on the back, so I have no idea what they are. So, all right, these next three things are from a boutique label, and um, I picked these up. I had never bought anything from this company before. Um, I had never even browsed their catalog until I bought these movies. But Vinegar Syndrome was having their Halfway to Black Friday sale, and I just so happened to catch it one day, and I was like, all right, I'll check out their catalog, see if they've got anything that I'm interested in, because everything was half off. And I was like, all right, some boutique label restorations for half off can't beat that. I went through their catalog. There is a lot of stuff I'm not interested in. They have a lot of like soft core porn type stuff. They've got a lot of um, sort of exploitation borderline stuff. And I'm not really interested in that, in that kind of thing. I'm not really interested in a lot of the gory horror stuff either. And they had a lot of that. So there was a, a very slim pickings for me personally in there. They had a couple things I was interested in and I picked them up here, but I only picked up three things from that sale. Um, so the first thing I picked up is actually the thing I'm most excited for out of all of this is it's a movie that I had always wanted to watch, um, and that is uh, Jack Frost. And um, I have always wanted to watch this movie. Um, I always passed this in my family video when I was younger, because uh, I always saw the cover of this on VHS. It had this really cool lenticular cover where it had like the normal snowman face, and then you turned it and it had like this face. And it's always something I wanted to watch because of that the covers just looked interesting. I never ended up watching it though because whenever I was at Family Video and I asked my parents if I could rent it, it was always in like the three or two dollar rental movies. And my parents, the only way they would ever let me rent anything, because we didn't have like a ton of money back then, um, the only time they would ever let me rent anything that was um, over the 50 cent release, 50 cent rentals was when they, when there was a new movie that came out, like for the first week, 
that they also wanted to watch. So it was like a family movie. The family movies are the ones that we rent that we spent more money renting, and then I could pick out normally like one fifty cent rental. This was never in that section, so I never really got to watch it. And then by the time I had my own job and stuff to actually go rent them, they didn't have this movie anymore in the in the store. So uh, I never really got to check this out, and I had no idea. I never looked. I just escaped my mind until I saw it in Vinegar Syndrome's website, and I was like, oh yeah, that movie. I'll check that out. And so this is a horror slasher movie with a snowman as the main character and uh, the main villain guy. So super interesting. Uh, here's some screenshots in the back. You can't see that. But yeah, it's super interesting. Um, it's a 2K restoration, and you can see... It, I did not know this when I bought them, but it comes with DVD and Blu-ray for all of their all of the Vinegar Syndrome stuff. So that's really cool. And this is what was the other face on the lenticular slipcover on the VHS that I saw back in the day. It was this face, and then you would move it and it would turn into this face. And I just loved the cover of it. I would always like move it back and forth before I put it back. Um, so I'm really excited to check this one out finally. And it's uh, got a 2K restoration, and then some of the special features are commentary with the director, a video introduction with the director, a video, video interview with the lead actor, and then you have a video interview with the director of photography, and then you have cover art, by, and you have the cover art by the artist, and it's got reversible cover art, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, cool. All right, the next thing I picked up from Vinegar Syndrome is something I actually have never even heard of. The other, These other two are just complete blind buys. I have never heard of them, but I just, they just... Out of clicking on everything and reading descriptions, these are the only two other ones that really spoke to me. And so the first one I picked up is Unmasked Part 25. And this is a slasher comedy. So it's a parody slasher movie. Um, by the looks of it, it still has quite a bit of its slasher gore, which I can deal with. Um, gore fest movies are a different story, but slasher movies I can still tolerate. But... Um, I, uh, I picked this up because I r recently just finished, like, I, I never had seen all of the Friday the 13th movies. Um, I had always, I had always seen the first and second one. Those ones are classics. But just last year, I watched the rest of them all the way up to Jason X. I think that was the last one, Jason X. I didn't watch the remake. Um, I think Rob Zombie made the remake of Friday the 13th. I haven't seen the remake, but other than that, I watched all the classic ones all the way up to Jason X. And I picked this up because it's supposed to be a parody of the Friday the 13th movies. And, and it's like part 25, um, which I thought was funny. I watched the trailer for this, and it's basically like Jason starting his like a life outside of a slasher villain. So it just seems really ridiculous. Um, it seems like it's still going to have quite a bit, of, uh, quite a few slasher kills, though. So um, seems interesting. Um, it's a 2K restoration, and some of the special features are an audio commentary with the director, um, and then you have uh, audio commentary with the writer and producer, and then you have a stills gallery, the original trailer, and then you have reversible cover art. Let me show you the discs. And like I said, I really love. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome's packaging more than anything. Like, their their packaging and presentation is top-notch. Uh, I absolutely love the packaging. Now, if they could, you know, release more slashers and less gore fest, I would be, I'd be really happy with that. I, slashers are my favorite horror genre. Um, that'd be great. And then the last movie I picked up on Blu-ray is one that, I'm sorry if it's getting really dark, it's really, it just got really overcast out of nowhere, so. But uh, this last one I picked up is a, another blind buy, and this one doesn't seem like a slasher, it just seems like a normal movie in this style. And I picked up uh, Pale Blood, and this is a vampire movie. So like I said, really big fan of vampire movies, and I always pick up vampire movies whenever I see them. And I had never heard of this, so, I mean, vampire movie I haven't heard of, gotta check it out. I know absolutely nothing about this movie. I, I read the description and it was kind of confusing. Like, I don't entirely know what the premise of this movie is. I haven't even watched it yet, so I, have, I know absolutely nothing about this movie. But it's a vampire movie, I got that much, and, um, yeah, it looks cool. So, uh, we'll see if this is good. Um, it's got a, a 2K restoration, 
It's got a feature called Understanding Immortality and an interview with the director. And then it's got Acting with Eggs and an interview with the actress and reversible cover art. So I'll show you what the discs look like. So looks pretty cool. I have absolutely no idea if this is going to be a good movie or not. I watched the trailer and I didn't really gather much from that either. So who knows what this is like. Um, this is the only one of the movies that I picked up from Vinegar Syndrome that is region locked too. This is a region A exclusive. So um, yeah, hopefully this is a good one. I always love getting more good vampire movies. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up. Like I said, ton of stuff. I picked up an absolute ton. So let me get a thumbnail here for uh, for YouTube now that I've spent like 30 minutes talking. I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna hold it all up because there's too much here. But uh, let's get, whoa, got some slidage going on. Should I, t should I do the thumbnail separately? Yes, will I? No. Whoa. Can we do this? It's a balancing act. Oh. All right. There you go. There's a, a majority of the individual releases that I got. So that's a lot of what I picked up for uh, for this pickup. So let me know what you guys think in the comment box below of the things that I picked up. Uh, are you interested in any of those any of the movies that I got here, or what do you guys think? You have any recommendations for me? I always have to check out recommendations from you guys. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.